<laughs> Hi friends, it's Mr. Rob here. And Eleanor. Yeah, we're so happy to see you today. I hope you had a fun weekend with your family. Did you have a fun weekend? I did. I drew with chalk in my backyard while talking to my neighbor who was on her porch. Yeah, not, not together. On her porch. Uh, because that's what we have to do. We have to keep a little space between each other so that we don't share germs. Yep, but we can still have fun. We sure can. Uh, it's fun to see our neighbors right now because we aren't seeing as many people. Like, I don't get to see you uh, at school. Yeah. But I get to see you here. Hi. Um, we're going to do a bunch of fun stuff today because I like doing fun stuff with you. Do you like doing fun stuff with our friend? I sure do. All right. Well, then I think we should do it. So we're going to look at some seeds. Some and plants, too. We're going to look at the plants that we've <laughs> been uh, we've been uh, taking care of since we started making these uh, little shows for you. We've got so many. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to do some decoration of some eggs. What? Mm-hmm. And then uh, we're going to look at what you guys are doing. Then we'll sing a song, read a book, and say goodbye. Yep. Well, let's get started. Let's plant a seed first. All right. So. Here's our little pitcher of water. This is one of my favorite pitchers. I wonder if you have a favorite pitcher at your house. Yeah. And then we also have our little pots. And since I don't have my scoop today, oh, I will wait, scoop with Should the I go pot. find our scoop? Sure. Here it is. It ended up in the sink. Oh, well, now it's... All right. So, can you help me count how many scoops we'll need to fill up our pot? Sure we can. All right. One. One. Two. Good job. Keep counting. And three. three. All right, that's all we needed today. All right, why don't you put a hole in and the number on. Um, today's number is 13. 13. We planted plant number 12 with auto. Mm -hmm. And today, we'll plant one, three. That makes 13. Can I show you, friends, something? Look, Mr. Rob has 10 fingers on his two hands. And that's not enough for 13. I need three more fingers. Where can I find three more fingers? Eleanor's got more fingers. 10 and three is 13. Look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. 11, 12, 13. There you go. All right, uh, should we water that plant a little? I think so, well, but first we have to put in our seed. Oh, you didn't put the seed in. I thought maybe you had. Oh, the seeds are all the way over by you. Oh, well then that would be very hard for you to do. If you don't remember, we're doing radish seeds. Here they are. And we've talked got about that. Real small seeds. So I've mm -hmm. got two seeds and I'll put them both in. One, two. Now I'll cover up the hole and give them some water. A lot of times when you're planting seeds, you put in more than one in case one of the seeds doesn't work. Um, it's always good to have a second seed there ready to do the job. Speaking of doing jobs, we've been doing a pretty good job of taking care of the plants that we've been, uh, we've been making with you friends. On our very first day, we took a plant and planted it in this blue pot. And look at it. It is such a happy, big, green plant. It's very bright. It's doing great. I'm really happy when I look at this. Thank you know, you. later this will this will make flowers. Oh. I'm excited. I hope it'll do it for us. Me too. Can you get our seeds? Of course. There's today's 13. And here's the one we planted with autumn. Yep, there's number 12. And now oh. all the rest. Do you know what, friends? I can just see the babiest little sprout of the of the plant here. I will take a picture and show you. It's tiny, light green, and a little loop like this with your finger. Can you do this with your finger? Curve it over. I, you see that? I also see some baby sprouts in these two. Oh, it's so fun to watch things grow. That's one of the reasons that your family and your friends and your teachers love spending time with you, because you grow and change so much. 
Um, so should we do our counting of all of these? Here, why don't I slide these down? Oh yeah. All right, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Are you counting with us? Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. That is a lot. You know what? That is 13 plants and we need a 14. How old are you? I'm 14 years old. Oh, tomorrow we will plant the Eleanor plant. <laughs> All right, why don't we move these over and right. I'm going to show our friends these beautiful terrariums we made. Here's one I made after I stopped making our movie. I think it's very pretty. It's in a glass jar, but I like how there are some plants and a couple of seeds have grown in there. And the plants in there are very tall. There's yeah. Green. And here's the one I made while you were watching, friends. Here's you the one. See that? Here's the one I made with everyone. I think yours is lovely too, Eleanor. Thank you. All right. I like growing plants, and I like that I have space in my room to put them. Why don't you push your plants a little further off? All right. Well, that was really fun. Do you like the plants we made? Oh, good. I hope. I hope some of you have had a chance to try this out. And if you haven't, you should give it a try. I think it's really fun, don't you, Eleanor? Yes, our friend who is also our neighbor planted some of her own plants and we got to see them from all the way over on her porch. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, I know some of my friends are probably going to decorate some eggs. And that's the thing that we do in our house. And there are a couple good reasons to do, the, to do that. One reason, is because it's fun. Yes, Another. we like we like to do it with our friends from across the street. This mm -hmm. year we won't, but maybe we... we could do it in a movie with them together. Yeah. Uh, and another good reason is they're beautiful. Yes. So let's give it a try. Uh, can I show, yeah, bring these over. Um, here we have some eggs that are not cooked. These eggs are raw. And if we opened them, they would all over. Um, and I, I'm gonna show you a trick. Look, if you take an egg and you spin it like this, if it does that, just sort of lays down like it's about to take a nap. It went from going upright to going on its side right away. Then you know that's not a cooked egg. The egg parts inside are still liquid and they slosh around. Now these eggs we already cooked, and let's see what happens when we gently spin them. See how they keep spinning? Yeah, mine spun for a long time. Yeah, we know these. And they stay up. See, Eleanor did a good job. Sort of like a top. That's fun. I'm going to show you how we cooked our eggs, because I think there's a fun way. And this is a way that you could really help. Eleanor, can you get our pitcher? Yes. The first thing you do is you take... Uh, we call this a kitchen towel or a tea towel. It's just a piece of cotton fabric, mm -hmm. and this one's dry, and I'm going to put it in this baking pan. Now, anytime we talk about cooking, do we do that alone or only with grown-ups helping? Only with grown-ups helping. There you go. Now, Eleanor, you've got a grown-up helping you. Would you just pour a little water in here? Not a lot. Sure. Some. We want the towel to be... Sometimes we use the, the word damp or moist. It means not soaking. I think that's enough. We could even push down on a little. And then, will you take our eggs and just put them right in there? Look. I'm lining them all up. There you go. One, two, three. Okay. Sure, we can do however you think they should go. Four, five, six. Will you count these eggs with me? One, two, three, four, five, six. And then what we do is we take this and we put it in an oven that is at 320 degrees, um, right when we put it on. We put it in there for 30 minutes, that's half an hour. And then when you take them out, they're done. And, they're just, and they're just like the eggs in this bowl that are cooked and solid on the inside yeah. and that spin upright. Look at that spin. All right. Um, I'm gonna put these eggs to the side right now 
And let's get those eggs out. And you know what? Bring We're going to use something fun to do this. Sometimes you can use water and vinegar. Which we and, used on an episode where we made pickles. Mm-hmm. You can use water and vinegar and food coloring to color our eggs. We are going to use eggs and we are going to use food coloring, but we are not going to use water. We are going to use this. We're not going to use vinegar either. Yep, that's right. Here, do you want to open a bag and I will pour some salt into these bags. There you go. This is another thing. This is another part of when we color our eggs that you should do with an adult. Anytime you're doing cooking, probably it's a good time to get a grown-up to help. Um, now, what do I do with the food coloring, Mr. Rob? Well, I have three colors of food coloring there. We have talked before about how red and yellow and blue, if you mix them together, you can get any color you want. Mm -hmm. Should we do a yellow bag, a blue bag, and a red bag? Um, I like the color purple. Can we make one that's purple? Um, sure. Then we will take the yellow away because yellow isn't needed for that. So I will make a red bag. Why don't you make a blue bag? Okay. And then we'll work together to make a purple bag. But let's say, hmm, I'm going to say about 10 drops of food coloring in the bag. I'm going to close it up. I'm going to sort of smush it together. Now, here's one reason you should definitely do this with a grown-up. Because when you get food coloring on clothing, oh boy, it's very hard to get it out. So it's good to get some help from a grown-up so that you make sure that nothing gets stained that is a problem. All right. Oh, that looks beautiful. Look at that beautiful blue Ooh. and this beautiful red. And this is just salt that you would use when you're cooking. Now I'm gonna put about five drops of red in here. And I will do, when you're done, five drops of blue. Yeah. Could I mix it up? Oh yeah. I think it's pretty fun to mix it up. Yeah, I think so too. Okay. Boop. All right, I will close it. Good idea. And then shake it. Now, this egg might end up being a little bit more red and blue instead of purple, but I'm excited to see how it looks. Yeah, I don't think... Oh, now it's beginning to mix. There we go. Ooh, I want to help, but I'm going to let Eleanor do it. Sometimes it's hard. Your fingers want to do a job. All right. Oh, I, that's an interesting blue. You know what this all sort of looks like? To me, and I'm going to ask the friends at home, does this look to you like something maybe you would put in the bottom of an aquarium? Ooh. I think it looks to me like that. I think that's a very good comparison. All right, we mixed them up. And now we're going to put eggs in. And just sort of... Smoosh them around? Yeah, be careful because the eggs have a shell, but make sure to get try to get that salt on there so it can be colored. I'm kind of smooshing in there. Now the nice thing about an eggshell is they are very strong. They are. And now let's take it out and put it on the plate and we'll see. Let me see. I've never dyed eggs this way, but I think it's very fun because you use your hands more. All right. You know what? Let's leave those there for now. Okay. Let's put these in this bowl that the eggs came out of. And we'll put these, you know what? I'm going to put them over here. All right. We've washed our hands. I just thought I'd show you the eggs before they're done, still with the salt on them. And we'll check in on these tomorrow, okay? Sounds good. Okay, I'm going to put them down here. And uh, should we check in with our friends at home? Oh, I think so. Okay, I think we've got some fun stuff going on in your houses. And some of you have chosen to share with us. So let's see what's going on. It's your turn. Hey everyone, we're out here playing outside today. We put some um, cloud dough in the table outside we have like a little 
kind of water table type I thing that we put outside. <gasps> oh, and Eli here is a big truck. Eli loves trucks. So we put this cloud dough outside. It's basically just flour and oil mixed together. You could use baby oil or probably regular oil. I haven't really tried regular oil, but you could try and see what it's like. It just kind of makes moldable flour. So if you're interested in trying that, it's pretty fun. Um, if you do it outside, you don't have to worry about making a mess. Another activity we're doing out here today is we're painting our house or our garage with paintbrushes and water. So you could do that outside too. Right. Oh, it's so great to see our friends and to see that they're still having fun, just like us. Yeah, it gives you some good ideas, too. Yes. It's fun to see our friends, and it's fun to see what they're doing. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, uh, Eleanor, do you think it's a good time for a story? Yes. And I was thinking we could do a story that is our song, and then we'll say goodbye. Oh, wow. Um... What do you think? Should... The book we're going to read and the song we're going to sing is called Knick Knack Paddywhack. I bet a lot of you know this. This book was made by Paul Ozelinski, uh, who we, we read his wheels on the bus before. It's very fun. Eleanor's going to help turn the pages and we'll all sing together, right? Yeah. All right, you know this. Ready? Go. This old man... He played one, he played knick-knack on my... All right, let's start over. Uh, so what's, what's the procedure? What's this? Oh. There we go. Do you want to mm -hmm. just open to this then? Uh, no, no, no. Okay, let's close it up. Oh! All right. It's signed. I know. I was there. I just thought it was nice. I All right. I didn't know. All right, ready to a little closer. Do you want to open it up and then see and then lift that and be like, it's written by Paulo Zelinski? Sure. Okay. All right. This is a fun book about a fun song. It's called Knick Knack Paddywhack, and I hope you'll sing along. This one is made by Paul Zelinski, who made the wheels on the bus that we read before. I hope you will sing along with us. You ready? Okay. This old man... He played one, he played knick-knack on my thumb. <laughs> Do you see him there? With a, with a knick-knack paddywhack, give the dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. All right, let's see the next one. This old man, he played two, he played knick-knack on my here i'm gonna pull it where is he shoe <laughs> with a knick knack patty whack give the dog a bone this old man came rolling home do you see him rolling home on a scooter there this old man he played three he played knick knack on my knee there he is with a knick-knack paddywhack, give the dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. This old man, he played four. He played knick-knack on my door. With a knick-knack paddywhack, give the dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. Whoa! <laughs> All right, next one. This old man, he played five. He played knick-knack on my hive. With a knick-knack paddywhack, give the dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. This old man, he played six. He played knick-knack on my sticks. 
There we go. Eleanor's going to pull it. Oh, there he is under the ground. With a knick-knack, paddy-whack, give the dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. There he is underground. This old man, he played seven. He played knick-knack up in... To heaven. With a knick-knack, paddy-whack, give the dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. This old man, he played eight. He played knick-knack on my gate. With a knick-knack, paddy-whack, give the dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. Oh, almost done now. This old man, he played nine. He played knick-knack on my spine. That's your part of your back. With a knick-knack, paddy-whack, give the dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. This old man, he played ten. He played knick-knack once again. With a knick-knack, paddy-whack, give the dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. Now watch, if we pull this, they will all roll, Eleanor. Can you pull all that right. one? And? Watch them roll, friends. Whoa! Rolling! Fun. All right, what's on the next page? Look at that. They're all and, home. And then, Eleanor, will you... Look at that. They're all playing instruments together. But the instruments are numbers. Oh, so much fun. I hope you will play some instruments with your family and make some beautiful music. But I think right now it is time for us to say goodbye. Goodbye. We miss you. We'll see you tomorrow. Take care.